the external thyroideus muscle. The recurrent laryngeal nerve. The vagosympathetic trunk. The external hyoideus muscle. The cranial laryngeal nerve. The external branch of the cranial laryngeal nerve. The internal branch of the cranial laryngeal nerve. The communicating branch between the cranial laryngeal nerve and the recurrent laryngeal nerve. The thyrohyoideus muscle. The hyoglossus muscle. The hyopharyngeus muscle or hyopharyngeal muscle. The cricopharyngeal muscle. The thyropharyngeal muscle. Or thyropharyngeus. The style of pharyngeus and the lingual branch of the glossopharyngeus nerve. This is the lingual branch of the glossopharyngeus nerve. And the stylo pharyngeus. The cricothyroideus muscle. And we open half of the thyroid cartilage. The sensory branch of the cranial laryngeal nerve for the mucosa of the larynx and the communicating branch with the recurrent laryngeal nerve.
de Zairo Aretemideus Maso. On the branches of the collaryngeal nerve. Identify the lateral ventricle of the larynx. These are the branches of the caudal laryngeal nerve that innervate the crico aritenoideus dorsalis the crico aritenoideus lateralis the vocal muscle The ventricular muscle, This is the lingual branch of the glossopharyngeus, the cranial laryngeal nerve, the stylopharyngeus, we open the laryngopharynge. So we have torsally opened the laryngopharynge and the esophagus. This is the ventricular muscle. The epiglottic cartilage. And we have dorsally opened the larynx now. So we identify the arytenoid cartilage, the cricoid cartilage. And we introduce a piece of a string in the, in the lateral ventricle of the larynx. So we identify also the vocal fold and the vestibular fold. In between them is the lateral ventricle. This is the vocal fold. And this is the vestibular fold.
of the larynx.